Yeah. I think Cooney is a. Uh, I mean, he's like the love of my life. He's a. Uh, yeah. He, <laughs> well, besides my wife, Kathy, but. Uh, yeah, but he's a he's a fun, loving dog. He requires a lot of attention. He uh, he, he demands it. Uh, <laughs> first noticed his changing behavior. He uh, he was always running and, and chasing and just having a good time. But uh, he wanted to lay around a lot. So when I took him to the vet, uh, we initially treated him for a urinary tract infection with antibiotics and so forth. And it didn't really seem to help, so they did x-rays, and that's when they seen the stones he had. Oh my goodness, probably about 15, somewhere in that number. You know, that might not be totally accurate, but he had a lot of them. And so we decided on the surgery, and they tried to flush them out, them out. And then we realized, you know, some of them were embedded, and they couldn't be done. But it was really scary, and there was at one point that um, I was ready to have all the tubes taken out and had him euthanized because he was he was just in really bad shape and Dr. Graffanger with his experience he kind of sees the signs when a dog has more of a will to live and thinks there's hope so he called me and said let's give him 24 more hours because every time I look at him he looks at me and I can see that fight he has and, and just that will to live you know and he's young so he's a lot going for him. So we gave him uh, another day, and within three hours of that conversation, all his blood levels went totally normal. And it was, it was a little bit of a recovery, but he, he's done really well, and Dr. Grafinger was right. He saved his life. I mean, I can't say enough good things about Hope Veterinary and, and Triangle. You know, they, they work together, and they just kept us updated constantly, let us know how he did. I got updates twice a day, and I was allowed to come anytime I wanted to visit him. And they just took excellent care of him. And it wasn't just the medical care, they just had a lot of love for him. And they pet and loved on him, and I couldn't be here. And they were just really wonderful with him. They saved us a lot. Well, as sure. all this was happening, I was on a business trip in Vermont, and uh, so all I had was the telephone. And and uh, I mean, it was tearing me apart with the roller coaster ride with Kenny. And, uh, so that's what I eventually, after so many calls, I realized through Kathy just how good this hospital is. It gets me choked up. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the staff here was just so supportive for Kathy because he was here alone dealing with Kenny. And, uh, so that gave me a lot of comfort. And, uh, and like I say, with the roller coaster ride, it's a, it was a journey, and I'm just so thankful for the, for the hospital. What I've come to learn is both Hope and Triangle here, they, they take it very seriously, and they treat their pet, their animals that they treat, like a doctor or a hospital would treat probably better than what some hospitals treat their people. You know, they have a lot of love, a lot of empathy for the parents and the pets, and they're, they're just very diligent in staying on top of what's going on, you know, and keeping us updated and informed so that we can make a decision.